Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I have more weird, creepy, random TikToks from my For You page, part six. Enjoy. Can y'all check this out? Like this cloud that the sun is hiding behind has broke through. Looks like a spotlight. And then it carries over. coolest thing? It's like I'm under a giant canopy. Huh. Y'all check this out. Like this cloud that the sun is hiding behind has broke through. Looks like a spotlight. And then it carries over. All the way over. I can't believe Prince said this. You know, when I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time. And so oh, that's cool. A jet just went over. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. And the next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing and you didn't know why. Some of you wake up and see all these trails in the sky, but you don't live by one airport. They say it's just condensation from the plane or that they're using these big tanks and airplanes to test weight limits. But what do you think? Is it just condensation coming out the plane or was Prince actually onto something? And make sure to follow this page because tomorrow's video will blow your mind. Did you ever hear about the Grand Canyon theory? No. So the Grand Canyon, okay. one of the world's wonders. There's a theory that the Grand Canyon holds something that none of us knew was there. So back in the 1850s, right? Yeah. The Grand Canyon was used to mine gold. When people started mining it, the gold index crashed because they found so much gold there. Okay. Now what happened was the government and the military, they closed it off and they made it a sanctuary so that nobody can just go there and then take whatever they want. There was this one guy, his name was Seth Tanner okay. and he was an explorer. He explored this one cave and he claims what he saw yeah. was ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics in one of the caves. Well, what did it say? The Grand Canyon, it actually holds the lost city of El Dorado. What? Like, the you know, the, the lost gold city of El Dorado. Yeah, the whole city. The man. whole city. So if you think about it, it's never found. That, that ancient tale that all of the natives talk about, yeah. the lost city, and the reason the government and the world is trying to keep it a secret yeah. is because it would crash the gold price. Watch this clip. Tell me if something looks weird in the other clip. Go. Oh, see, no, so long as I see it was denied. What? Our freedom can never be secure. You have to, you have to write talk the, the market same way. a little bit. Look here. at the neck. And the market is that if you have all of all of the tax breaks, essentially all the tax breaks, all is that of shadow? the benefits. I don't know. The top. Ten years ago, I had somebody very interesting on the podcast. Jonah Mendes. And we invented a whole new genre of masks. Masks that are so good, that are so realistic. Those masks were the beginning of a whole new generation of work that we did at the CIA. Once we could make these masks that fit you so well, then we discovered we could make a twin. We could make another you. <laughs> not sitting here telling you mm -hmm. that is the case or not i'm purely speculating and it's mostly just a big ball of lava that's earth but ten thousand feet is not a big deal have you given any consideration whatsoever to the flat earth movement ha <laughs> <laughs> i think that's a troll situation oh it's not no it's not you would like to think okay. that because you're super genius <laughs> But I, as a normal normal person, I know there's people way dumber than me. And they really, really believe. They watch YouTube videos which go on uninterrupted and spew out a bunch of fucking fake facts very eloquently and articulately. And they really believe. These people really believe. I mean, if it works for them, sure. <laughs> fine. Weird though, right?
These are the scariest conspiracy theories in the world, but we're gonna keep going until we find the craziest one. A lot of people haven't heard about this one, but there's actually a conspiracy that a solar flare is what caused the Titanic to sink, which is crazy. So this is actually thanks to a new study, but it discovered that the Northern Hemisphere was actually experimenting a moderate to severe magnetic storm on the night of the ship's collision. So the conspiracy is that this storm could have affected the ship's radar and the radio rescue signals, so that's why it had crashed. There's a huge conspiracy called the NASA Blue Beam Project. This one's wild. Basically, this conspiracy says that NASA is planning on projecting giant 3D holograms of religious figures into the atmosphere to initiate a spiritual apocalypse. This one's wild. Hey, everybody knows what Area 51 is, but it wouldn't be a conspiracy video if we didn't talk about it. Obviously, you know the conspiracy. Area 51 is for aliens, right? So they say that Area 51 in Nevada is actually a military installation at the Nellis Military Operations Area. This is what people don't believe. Obviously, as you do know, the conspiracy is that Area 51 is researching and experimenting on aliens and their spacecraft. I don't know what to believe. I'm staying silent. The government has officially come out and said that the facility is used to test experimental aircraft for the military. That's something the government would say. We're gonna keep going until we find the craziest one, so make sure you add me and come back to me tomorrow. Have you ever heard about the Samsung phones theory? Never heard about it. So you know how they always brag about their phone being better than an iPhone? Yeah, they always say like their cameras are the best and... Yeah, exactly. They say you can literally point your camera at the moon and the image will surpass a telescope's view. They really do market it as being able to zoom into the moon. So I watched a video by Shane Dawson and saw this clip. Did you see how the guy zooms into the moon? Oh my god. It looks really sharp, right? Wow. Pretty good, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Samsung recently admitted that they actually enhance moon photos on Samsung phones using AI. And a, a guy made a video demonstrating how Samsung does this. It's crazy how he pulls it off. So he took a plain white circle and placed it across his house. Um, then he zoomed in fully to fool the phone into thinking it was the moon. The camera then swapped that white circle for um, an image of the moon. Wow. So it, it started as just a white circle and then transformed into the moon. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. That's crazy. Have you heard the scary conspiracy theory about Billie Eilish that says she will die an early shocking death all because of her eyes? The fact that I'm going to die one day and no one will remember me makes me feel so good. As you can see, Billie Eilish has a lot of white showing underneath the iris of her eyes. Anyone with these type of eyes called yin sen paku eyes are cursed according to Japanese superstition. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul and predict the soul's fate. And in the theory, anyone with these eyes met a tragic end. They're pretty rare, as you can see, I don't have them. Japanese authors were able to predict John F. Kennedy's assassination death and Marilyn Monroe's suspicious overdose death just because of their eye. According to the theory, anyone with these type of eyes are in danger from the outside world. People are out to get them. Other examples including the great Michael Jackson who was killed by his doctor. And more recently, Mac Miller who was sold something counterfeit. People with the opposite eyes, whites showing above the iris. People with opposite eyes with whites showing above the iris are said to be a danger to everyone else, like Charles Manson. Before I show you the most very recent example of this, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theories about each of these celebrities and requests do you want to see next. The most recent example that people within this theory have noticed is Juice World. I'm just spilling the tea, I know Billy will be okay. The color blue was never written down. Weird. In like all this, like blue was never a word. Weird. They didn't have a word for that color? No. Okay. When they would describe like the ocean yeah. and stuff like that, they would describe it as like green. What? And yeah. And so Weird. the the theory is if you can't connect a word with a color, mm -hmm. can you not see that color? Because your brain, and so they did an experiment. That's crazy. <laughs> they did an experiment in this tribe in, somewhere in Africa. It was like like the Bush people. Yeah. And they also have never heard the word blue. Okay. And so they gave this graph, and it's this graph of like 12 squares, and they're all green, right? And then there's a one that's like a bluish green. Very different. Like all of us would be like, oh yeah, that one's different. And they had these people look at it, and they were staring at it, and it took them so long to figure out which color was different because they don't know what to look for in the blue they're like find the one that's different it yeah. was weird yeah and then they showed it we are the first species pay attention people pay attention to be aware of evolution to be aware that we are affecting our own evolution by everything that we do the babies we eat the food we eat the car wars we fight we are the
Baba Vanga, who became famous for seemingly predicting some of the world's most chilling events, including 9-11 and the war in Ukraine, has got some bad news for 2025. While the blind mystic died in 1996, her predictions for the future are resurfacing, and next year is apparently set to be the beginning of the end. Brilliant. The good news is that humanity allegedly won't be wiped out until 5079, so we've still got a good few years yet. Do you think she's nailed it? Well, damn way down and it was so slow that you could almost see the air moving then you saw the driver take a gun and go like this and shoot Kennedy and the bullet comes out of the gun this slow very 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 slow and it hits Kennedy in the head and you see everything flying out of his head I'm thinking, this isn't the tape I ever saw before. So I said, is this a doctor tape? What's this about? And he said, this is the original one. And I said, uh, no, you know. And he says, well, I'm going to show you the one that you've seen on the media. Now, the next tape is your typical one where the driver just keeps driving, never even flinches with the gun. And he stops the tape. And he says, look at the tree. And there's the top of a tree growing in air. And he says, this is the one that you're seeing on the media. And it's been doctored. He looked very, very intently at me and he said, nothing is as it appears to be. They are poisoning you. So you know those drumstick ice cream cones? So people are finding that the ice cream is not real ice cream. And to prove this, they buy these ice cream cones and then they leave it outside of the freezer for like 24 hours. And after 24 hours, they try to see if it melts or not. Like look at this video, they left it out for 24 hours and it's not melted. It looks like mashed potatoes, but it's not like liquid ice cream melted. So they left it out in room temperature for 24 hours and shockingly it didn't melt and that's what we're eating. So if you look at the box drumsticks, like the packaging right nowhere on the packaging, does it say that it's ice cream? because legally by the USDA they cannot say it's ice cream unless in the product they have like 10% milk fat. Drumsticks do not have that so legally they cannot say it's ice cream right and look look at the box. On the box it's so small where they put it it only says four frozen dairy dessert cones and they only put it super small at the bottom of the box so since it says frozen dessert cones that usually means it's made with like oils there's like some milk fat right but there's not enough to call it ice cream and that's why drumsticks don't melt. Wake the fuck up. Met, bro. Wake up. Now, peep Old Testament man of ancient Wake America. Up. Hold up. All right, Wake so peep, right? I had Wake zoomed up. in. Wake up. Wake up. So, what if this what it really was, bro? And if anything, right? This would really make sense. You want to know why? Because what's in this area? Washington, D.C. Oh my God. Things that the government don't want you to know, part 24. There's no point in working a job. In 1933, the government went bankrupt and they got rid of all of our money. And then they gave us a fiat currency called Federal Reserve Notes. And they also gave us something called the credit system. Since the government is so much in debt to us, they basically offered to pay for everything. Yes, your house, your car, everything's already paid for. Why would you go work for $15 an hour and you work half your shifts for free because they take 50% of your income? When all you really have to do is walk into the bank with a good credit score and they'll give you some imaginary numbers on a plastic card. Make that make sense. It's called the Glitter Conspiracy. So there's this main glitter manufacturing. It's called Glitter X. Glitter X. And one guy from the New York Times went, it was like weirdly top secret. He was talking to one of the higher ups. Yeah. Because there's a shortage. Yeah. So that's the biggest thing. There's like, like there's, there's a shortage in the world. He started talking to him just because he's like, okay, so there's a shortage. What's happening? Who's your bit? Like, he's just asking questions. Yeah. yeah. And so he's at, he asked if he can get a, a tour of the place. And the guy's like, absolutely not. <gasps> he said, you can't even be in a room next to it and hear how it's being made. What? what about the sound of it being made would don't know ruin what if it's just scene? aliens <laughs> I need you to make this glitter now ah <laughs> but there's there's one company she said that is the biggest buyer of all glitter and he says what is it and she said it's like I can't tell you that he said if I looked at it would I know it's glitter talking about the product that they use this glitter and the main buyer of glitter and she said no not really they don't want anyone to know that it is glitter now this is interesting. What if I told you 
um, beneath the sands of Giza, a hidden chamber in the Great Pyramid, was discovered in 2024, revealing a trove of alien artifacts. Hieroglyphs depicted ancient Egyptians communicating with extraterrestrials, sharing knowledge of advanced technology. The artifacts included a star map pointing to a distant galaxy and a device resembling a modern-day computer. Among the relics was a mysterious crystal pulsating with an otherworldly glow. Wait until you hear this part. Scientists activated the crystal, unleashing a beam of light that projected a holographic message from the ancient aliens. The message revealed that the pyramids were not tombs, but energy generators, aligning with cosmic forces to sustain Earth's magnetic field. This revelation sparked a global quest to decipher the remaining secrets, as scholars, adventurers, and conspiracy theorists flocked to Egypt, eager to unlock the next chapter of humanity's interstellar connection. The world watched in awe as history and science fiction collided in an epic tale of ancient alliances and futuristic possibilities. Holy shit, guys. We figured out the glitter. Buckle up. It gets fucking crazy. So if you don't know, a little while ago, the world was running out of glitter. There just, there, there wasn't any glitter. And everybody's like, why isn't there any glitter? Just make the glitter. And people started actually asking questions. So some people went into a deep dive and they got on a confidential phone call with one of the top like manufacturer people, somebody in there, it's confidential, so we don't know who it is, but there was on a phone call. And in this phone call, they said, they don't want us to know it is glitter. What, what is glitter? And of course that made everybody be like, okay, so now we gotta figure this out. And there was a bunch of theories from like boat paint to like stuff in food and everything like that, but that wouldn't make sense to why the world is, there, there just was no glitter. And then somebody figured it out. It wasn't about something that was made out of glitter. It was that something is glitter and they don't want us to know that it is glitter. Glitter is defined as tiny pieces of sparkling material. So that's actually way more broad than we think because we think of like the plastic glitter, or maybe like the edible glitter, right? No, glitter can be anything like metal or what the truth is, fiberglass. There are only a few glitter manufacturers in the world because it takes like these heavy machinery because you know, they have to cut out these tiny, tiny little things. So what was really happening wasn't that somebody was buying up all the craft glitter. No, the machinery was being used to make fiberglass for the American military. So it wasn't that there wasn't enough glitter, there wasn't enough machinery to make both. So why the fuck is the American military buying up all this fiberglass? Apparently, they use it and drop it in areas that have radars and it tricks the radars into thinking that there's heavy weather. So the mystery is over. It was never about somebody buying up all the glitter. It was that something was glitter that they didn't want us to know was glitter. Fiberglass.